Hello, hello family. Once again, welcome to Semencia Farms. And today I'm very excited to share another mistake that I have done so that you guys don't have to repeat that mistake. My name is Fred and welcome to Semencia Farms. Here on this channel, we talk about innovative way of farming in Africa and sharing basically my mistake experience with you. Plus, honest information about anything relating to agriculture whether it be livestock farming or crop farming or even investment expenses return on my investment with you guys everything that is happening here on semen share farms i'm happy and willing to share with you guys so that no one have to go through what i am going through on all the learnings that i'm having here on semen share farms so if this is a channel that you would like to see more of then go ahead and join the family by hitting on the subscription button and don't forget to also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I release a new video you guys will be notified and can come and watch today I'm spending a lot of time here at the goat pen so as you can see below I have a few boa goats walking up and down here and I'm just enjoying chilling with them it's a very well ventilated built pen um, that I have for my boa goat so I'm enjoying the weather here with them and also bringing you this episode so that you guys don't make the mistake I did when I was fencing my ranch and what I am doing to innovate or to change that so let's get right into it again if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about anything business Africa agriculture go ahead and check the description below I have a link there click on that link that link will lead you to a page where you can schedule a meeting and talk one-on-one -on -one with me about anything that you want to discuss so today we are talking about fencing and fencing has been the biggest hurdle for me especially in the cattle business you all know that here at semencia farms we are against random grazing which is where our livestock are left to roam randomly and graze and eat and feed in people's farm causing a lot of trouble and sometimes even leading to death and destruction of various communities which is all over us that i know you and i have been a witness either on our screens on television youtube and so on about it and that is why we are so against random grazing and the way we tend to do our livestock is by keeping them inside just like i have my goat pen here the same with my cattle farm where we have a ranch and we actually grow the brachyria grass to feed them talking about the brachyria grass if you haven't gotten your hands on one please hit the whatsapp number and my team will get you some we have a seed from 100 grams to 500 grams to one kg feel free to contact them and they will sort you out that's what we feed our livestock with in the rainy season in the dry season and that's why we're able to keep them inside right and feed them take care of them without them going out and destroying people's things or bringing us any headache when i got my first cows and bull i actually built a ranch in the form of metal you guys have seen that video if you haven't seen it i will link it somewhere here go and watch it but i built a metal ranch because these cows have been roaming around all their life when they came they didn't want to be confined so what happened they actually broke the ranch and in the middle of the night they will actually leave and go and feed somewhere and come back and so on so i was like you know what i'm gonna expand that ranch so that they have some sort of roaming right and exercise and feel like maybe they are in the wild so i expanded it but when i expanded it i, I turned to use tick trees if you know something about agriculture or fencing you know that tick tree is one of the strongest tree that when you treat well you'll be able to put in the soil and not be attacked by termites and and destroy it you know so i got myself a couple of tick trees and fenced my whole ranch with it and then went to the chainsaw and got the back of a tick tree and used it as a fence those could last but the longest mine has lasted for me was about a year and after a year they actually started getting weak so what i what happens is that when the cows hit it it breaks and they're able to go out or it actually falls during a heavy rain or any windy um, weather i have to sort of be doing repairs and changing them over time 
and this wasn't sustainable there was one night that actually one of the cows left the ranch and it took me about two days to find it so i was like no i need to find a better solution to this so i went into town and started asking some of the old folks what do you think could be a good solution because using a metal around my my ranch is too expensive right so i wanted a cheap way of doing it so i started asking around and a woman actually pointed me to a direction and said do you see this tree this tree when cut and put on the ground will start actually bearing root and establishing in two weeks i was like are you kidding me in two weeks he said yes try it out so i went cut a few of these trees and came to plant them along my ranch and exactly a little over two weeks less than three weeks the tree started bearing new leaves that dry tree so i was like okay this might be the solution to my problem so i went and got a lot and what i did is fenced all my ranch with that tree leaving the actual fence inside so that as they break i can replace them with a new tree that i've planted and by this tree growing means that i can all use wood or even use wire barbed wire or anything to actually fence my my ranch now because i have an actual tree that is grown has roots right so that means that it's not gonna fall and i actually planted them four feet interval and as you can see it has been less than three weeks and they have all actually bare leaf which is looking very fresh and my hope is i'm going to leave it still throughout this entire rainy season for maybe about um i'm looking at maybe about six months for it to be properly established once it's properly established then i'll start nailing um you know the board or wire mesh whatever i decide to use i'll start using it to cover it now i can be assured that i have permanent fence around my ranch i am also not stopping there i'm doing the same thing for my goat because my idea is that the goats will be up here at night and during the day i will open them and they can go to the yard exercise and also feed on the grass there at night i will bring them back in again so in order for them to be in the yard and not go somewhere else it is important that i fence that as well so i have also used the same tree to fence my goat pen as well and fencing also the poultry pen and dividing it so the same tree is dividing both the goat pen and the poultry pen as well this has been amazing guys and i've seen it work for the ranch and that is why i'm testing it here i don't know the name of it but i hope you guys know it it's very common in ghana it grows at home it grows in the forest so if you have it in your neighborhood and you have a land i don't see any way that is lesser cost than using metal in fencing so if you have a land sitting there and you think you want to fence it someday or use it for livestock and do confinement then go and get yourself some of this tree during this rainy season and plant them give yourself a year and your your land is going to be fenced i even thought about fencing them with cashew so that at least i can get the plant the seed of the cashew from it cashew does take time as well but this is short term this will do the work quickly and that's why i'm going with this um so far so good i'm very happy with it and i'm going to bring you guys more updates once the ones with the at the gold pen here also start growing this is what i have for you guys sharing that with you because it has been one of the biggest challenge for me here at the farm and i'm glad i've solved it and i hope you guys it works for you i hope you find it if you also know the name of this tree please put it in the comment below and let all of us learn from it but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you another day with a new video